Hello, my name is Katherine Drummond and I'm from Gingerbread Girl Designs. And this video is on a canvas work stitch called the sheaf stitch. This is done in two steps and this is a stitch diagram for the first step. For this demonstration, I'll be using 18 count mono canvas. I like the canvas by Zweigart and this one is white. So following the stitch diagram that I showed you at the beginning of this video, we're going to come up at one. Um, the thread that I'm using here is number five pearl cotton by DMC in color 517, which is an aqua. We're, we'll go down at two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which is eight canvas threads away from one. Then we'll come up at three and go down at four. Come up at five. Go down at six. Up at seven down at eight, up at nine, and down at 10. And we want all of these stitches to be taut, but not really tight, because we're gonna bring them together. This is a stitch diagram for step two of the sheaf stitch. And you'll want to keep this diagram and the previous one handy for the demonstration of the very last leg of this stitch, um, labeled 1112 here. For the last step of the sheaf stitch, which is what really makes the stitch uh, different from just a satin stitch, which is what it is right now, you wanna come up from underneath the middle of stitch three, four. You can see my needle is coming up from underneath the stitch. You don't wanna pierce it which I did. So you can push the stitch out of the way if it helps. So you wanna come up from underneath that stitch and slide your needle under stitch seven, eight. So now it's coming up from the middle of stitch three, four and out to the side. And you wanna go back down slide under stitch 9, 10, and go down under the middle of stitch 5, 6. And all of these numbers refer to the first stitch diagram that I showed you. So then when you pull this stitch, this last leg of the stitch tight, you'll see it makes a little bow tie. Isn't that cute? So you can do this stitch horizontally, as I've shown here, or vertically. Uh, or you can make a filling with horizontal and vertical little bow ties. Um, it's a really cute little stitch. So play around with it a little bit and see what you like. You can even make this last part of it, this tie part, a different thread to give it a little bit of a different look. Happy stitching.